Hi there, how's it going? My name's Chris, or Captain Old Blue from CG Pirates. Yar, How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Okay, so chances are you've got to do the first module, you've got all the tools you need, and that's brilliant. So, now you're on the second module, if you're following it sequentially, and we are about to learn together how to make a maze game. Now, you may be groaning and going, oh, maze game, right? But this is where it all started. When it comes down to 3D games, okay, if you were to go back to, for example, the ZX81 console, it was Maze Games. If you go back to almost any of the faux 3D stuff, this was years and years ago before most of you were even around, you're talking Maze Games. Maze Games will give you the principles and the basics you need. Just like old Doom 1, you know, it was a Maze Game, but it had things in your shoot. The fundamentals of most FPS's are, it's a maze game, it makes you a little bit disorientated, then it throws some monsters in. Anyway, that's where we're going to get started, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn on my Epic Games Launcher. Now remember, if you want to be productive, you're going to turn off the games part at the side, that's up to you, I can't make you do it either way. Now, we've talked about this before, my part about how to get Epic Unreal Engine. Okay, so you'll have installed your engine by now. I very much hope you have anyway. And I'm going to show you how we set up a project. Okay, so first things first, I want you to go into your hard disk drives and I want you to check that you have enough space on the drive you're using. Now, you may not have five hard disk drives like I have. Okay, most sensible people don't. You'll see that the C hard disk drive doesn't really have enough space. So I'm going to develop it on the U drive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click launch, and this will take a few moments. So, as you can see, now the recording, uh, not recording, the loading is finished, and what we have is a selection of options here. Now, we're interested in games, so I'm just going to go straight to the games area and just click. Okay, we don't want a recent project, and click next. Now, you've got a selection of all the different kinds of things you can have here. Okay, so we have first person, flying, which gives you a nice little basic spaceship, handheld AR, okay, for making augmented reality games, which is great fun, and yes, you can do that if you want, but we're not going to at the moment. Puzzles, rolling balls, side scrollers, a 2D standard side scroller, old school. Third person, very common one, think of um, Gears of War top-down which is popular with most RPG kind of isometric games twin stick shooters which is great for your shooters obviously a vehicle VR and an advanced vehicle so what we're going to do is we're going to create first person because that's basically all we need to do and click next and under here under project settings we're not going to be using C++ so we'll keep it blueprint because it's lovely and simple we want the maximum quality. We want ray tracing disabled because that will slow things down. Don't worry about ray tracing. We're making it for desktop and console with starter content. And we're going to put it in the U drive. Okay. And what we're going to call this is Maze Game 1 and create a project. Okay. So now the percentages will go up. I'll just pause while it's doing it. Okay, so you can probably see it's discovering its assets. Okay, that just means it's working out where everything is and getting ready to start. Okay, so now we have Unreal Engine working. Now, in the next part, in the next part of the module, I will show you how to do some basic navigation so you know how to get around inside the game. It's not difficult. And until then, you take great care, mateys. Okay, and bye bye for now. Yar.